today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality. Hey, hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day on this beautiful Tuesday. How are you guys? Good afternoon, girl. Are you drinking your like midnight tea, midday? tea you know or like a coffee or black coffee i don't know let me know what you guys are doing right now like i'm here um you know just giving you the tea because miss jill sering is coming forward and girl like the thirstiness is talking and she is literally saying i don't give an f i mean <laughs> so uh, let's talk about this mess. As you know, Real Housewife of New York Legacies was canceled, which uh, it's just like I'm so it's so funny that there's still people thinking that that show was going to be a thing. OK, like, girl, I told you from the beginning, it didn't make any sense. Why will Bravo create two Real Housewives of New York? Like, it's so stupid just to think about it. Like, oh, we're going to reboot this and trying to give it a shot with like a whole new set of ladies. But we're going to make it compete with another show with all the people that, you know, they already love. Of course, it's not going to work out like like. Like it or not, like Dorinda, uh, Dorinda or Sonia or Luan, Jill, uh, Ramona, Bethany, like they all have their own fandoms, you know? They are not going to give it a chance to the new New York as long as this new show was here. So to me, from the beginning, I told you guys from the beginning, I was like, that show is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. It doesn't make sense. It's stupid. And this is just a way to kind of like tell the other ladies, the, the old ladies, like, yeah, 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 there is something in store for you. Don't worry, baby, don't worry. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna like do this first. Mm -hmm. But when we're finished, we promise you, Pinky promise, we are coming for you. Like, <laughs> it was so obvious, you know. Um, at this point, even though I will never agree or understand why they cancel The Real Housewife of New York, like, just for, because of one bad season, it really doesn't make any sense, right? And I don't understand why or what do they have to protect so much? Because, I don't know, did, did Ramona rape Ebony? Like, what happened? You know, like, like, what was so bad that there was no coming back from that? Because that's how they acting. Like something horrible happened in New York that they have to cancel and fire everyone and just start from zero. It's kind of like, or, you know, maybe New York just was the scapegoat or, you know, the, the word that they're going to practice. Because I do believe that eventually every single franchise, especially the older ones, will going to start getting reboot one by one. But you know what, like, why don't start with Orange County, for example? No idea. But anyways, uh, I feel that if Roni is a success, the new one, it's going to be 
you know, a major thing for everyone. Like every single franchise will be shaking, especially I'm going to tell you, I think especially Orange County and, and Atlanta. You know, I think those two are going to be shaking because the ratings have not been really good the past seasons, you know, and I could see a reboot coming to them if things are not working out how it's supposed to be. But anyways, the point is that, you know, the new Ron is coming. I'm very excited about that. And now, you know, Legacy is canceled. And Jill Sering, she cannot let this go. Girl, I mean, you know that Jill Sering has been called the thirstiest housewife ever. You know, like she was she was in New York for what, like four seasons, you know, like four or five seasons, something like that. And and she thinks that she is Vicky Gumbelson. You know, she thinks that she is on the world, you know, and that the world needs to be like, oh, Miss Jill Sering, whatever you need. It's this is for you. Right. And it's like, girl, girl. What have you done for the world of housewives? Like, let's be honest. Okay, I mean, she said, like, I, I came here, I ca there, it, it was cast around me, like, I brought new three, like, three housewives. And you still were there only for four seasons, like... If anything, I mean, if we're going to go with longevity, the only one who might have something to say about, it will have to be Ramona. You know, because that's the OG who has been from the beginning. But Jill Sarah, like, girl, take several seats. And now, you know that, you know, the reports are that the reason why Legacy was canceled was because of Jill Sarah. Because apparently every single one of the ladies had already agreed to whatever they're going to get paid, to film, to whatever. And Jill Sarah said that she was not going to return unless she got a, a salary Kind, like kind of like friends you know like she thinks that she's the jennifer aniston of this thing and she deserves to be paid the same as the cast of friends which was basically one million dollars per episode which bravo was like girl that's so cute but no and now of course she is saying that 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 she is, she knows her worth that she's not gonna like back down now she's saying that she did not said ever one million dollars per episode but she did said the friend's comment but on the sense that she wanted every single person on the show to be making the same amount of money which is what this the, the cast of friends did you know they were paying differently and then one season they just sit down and they were like you pay all of us the same or we are not gonna be working anymore and that's how it worked until they eventually got to, to make $1 million per episode, all of them, like every single one of them, you know? So she, she wanted to have the same treatment because she thinks that they are so powerful. And I'm like, baby girl, I mean, let's be honest, you are still part of a reality TV show, okay? Like right now, Outside of the Bravo verse, I don't think absolutely no one knows who Jill Sering is, right? So, like, coming with these demands, especially after you have been off the show for so long, it's kind of, like, ridiculous. But she's saying that she's not going to let it go, that she doesn't care that she's called the thirstiest housewife, that she knows her, her worth, and that if Bravo ever decided to pay her what she deserves to be paid, that she will be back. But the, the, right now, the project is canceled, and it is what it is. And that she was going... And, and then there is this, this report saying that Dorinda was calling Jill Sering... I want, Jill said that Dorinda or called her... or. Dorinda, you know, someone call her and kind of like say, you have to stop asking for that much money, like, like do it for all of us, blah, 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 you know, and Jill is like, nope, nope, if I don't get paid, I'm not gonna do it, if I don't get paid, I'm not gonna do it, you know, so like, it's not gonna happen. It's just not going to happen. And we don't have anyone else to come because Bethany Frankel, she's not going to come back. She doesn't care about the show anymore. And who else is kind of like a big, big personality that we're really going to want to see it? And Ramona, I think she doesn't want to do it either. So it is what it is. Honestly, honestly, guys, I am more excited about the new Roni because I saw the ladies. They are amazing. They are funny. They are dramatic. And I think, honestly, I think that the new season is going to be 
amazing and i'm giving it all my support so let's see what is gonna happen so anyways guys that's it for today let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to the real housewife of new york or any other bravo show or pop culture make sure to subscribe 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 hit the notification bell and i'll see you around see ya bye